Mayhem or That's pandemonium? Maybe. That's pandemonium. pandemonium. Hello, everybody. Got Jenny over here with little pandemonium, also known as Skewy, Johnny Fortescue. And then Johnny, all fancy down there with his fancy sweatshirt matching his fancy glasses. <laughs> so. And my, my dragonfly Wait. Christmas tree. Wait. Oh, hold on. There you go. Now you're bigger. Dragonfly Christmas tree. <laughs> That's super pretty. Yeah, I have dragonflies in my logo, so I needed the dragonfly Christmas tree. <laughs> nice, nice. Wait. It's, it's 30 degrees here. So. It's 30 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so jealous. It's... um. It was in the 70s today. I was telling Johnny, we went out. I took Braxy for a walk today down at the lagoon. And I, I had this sweater on. And I was like, I got to the car. And I was like, let me take it off. And good thing I did. Because, you know, it's it's in the 70s. I don't know if winter's ever going to show up here. I really don't. <laughs> I really don't. It usually doesn't until like January, February. And then it lasts a couple weeks and then it's gone. Yeah. So I like the winter. Only I thing know. I don't like is it's dark at 2.30. Other than that. I love that. I love that because I hate the sun. So the darker <laughs> the sooner it gets darker, the happier I am. I like it too, but you know, I'm very magpie-ish. So if you throw the sheet over the cage, I think it's time to go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> So once it's dark, so it's like you okay, your laughing blanket over you, you'll giggle yourself to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the closet. I got it. I got the other one. This one's warm, so I have to use this one. Oh, that one's the Sherpa one. Yes. Oh, nice. It's very warm here. Ugh. So yeah, it's thirty degrees. We don't turn. We, I don't turn the heat on here, mind you. And then on the west coast, the heat is not coming out of the vents up here. It comes out of the vents down here. The floor. And that one happens to be behind the bed, so I don't want to turn it on. It makes no difference anyway. So it's, it's, there's the there's the thermostat is behind here, so you see how much I care about it. So it's like <laughs> I don't care. Yeah. Let it be cold. Because when it's hot, I'm gonna complain every day. I hate the I hate see now here's the thing. I love the winter. SoCal winter, where it's nice and brisk, and you <laughs> put on a sweater. This whole shoveling snow in like eighteen inches. Of, no, no, no. That that's too cold. Yeah, we're moderate. supposed to get a little bit of snow to ice and maybe ice. Uh, uh, so I'm like, okay, snow, but you can keep the ice. I don't like the mm -hmm. ice. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of over all of that to be honest. Yeah, my brother-in-law was telling Jenny in the in the before we went live he's up in the mountains which is about an hour away from us and they're already down in like the mid 30s at night and like 40s during the day and i'm like and we get to see him saturday because we're doing christmas early with that part of the family and i'm like thank god thank god i know matt's gonna walk out of here looking like an eskimo you know but, <laughs> but um I'm excited. And he said that they're supposed to be getting snow up in the mountains on Christmas Day, but I'm not going up there Christmas Matt Day. Matt gets cold in California. Yeah, I know. Well, you saw him when we went to the to the magical <laughs> forest. <laughs> well, he, like, yeah, like basically. Like that. But, then, <laughs> but then he was, wasn't he wearing shorts? <laughs> yeah, it's like what what about your legs? Like I never <laughs> His arms is cold. His legs is hot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I was, I'll ask all of y'all dressed up there when it's like I got on a light jacket. Everybody's got on this big giant parka and then yeah. flip flops and shorts. I'm like, what are y'all doing? Yeah, like we're is you cold or is you ain't? What's happening today? <laughs> <laughs> Yep, that's that's so oh, cal for you. It's it like is. you know, it's below sixty, and people think it's like Antarctica. It's like, <laughs> well, it's the Arctic out. for y'all. I understand. Chill out, chill out. So uh, happy belated I Hanukkah to our uh, Jewish followers. I missed it last week while Hanukkah was going on. I think it ended Friday. I saw people in the chat asking about little Braxy. Um, she's doing good. She's down here chewing on her little goat horn. 
So she's been here a week and she's been great. We had family over yesterday. That's why I haven't been on because I spent all week trying to clean up my house and stuff because we had family yesterday for, well, part of the family for Christmas, early Christmas. Um, and she did really good. Like the whole time we were having dinner and stuff, she just laid here on her bed. We didn't tell her to. She just came over here and went to sleep. Um, but she got a little bit overexcited when people came over and she had a little bit of an accident in the house. She peed a little bit, you know, cause, and it's like, I, I was, I was telling Jenny and Johnny, I was like, I keep forgetting that she's a puppy because she's so big. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, it's she's like, having to, she's having to learn to be in a house. She was in a kennel setup uh, yeah, before. So. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, she did really good today when I took her to the park, she's still, she's a little apprehensive about leaving the house. Like she doesn't want to leave the house, but then when we get her outside, then she doesn't want to come back in. <laughs> you know? So, so um, you know, it took her a minute to, to get out of the house today. She's doing better in the car. Um, so she's, she's been, she's been doing really good. She's doing awesome. Yeah. Hey, Lori and Autumn. Hi Lori. Hi Autumn. Yeah, I just need to get my head because she's right now looking at her. She's about the size that Bean was and Bean was full grown it, and she's only five months old. So it's like, it, you know. She is so intrigued by that TV. She's so oh educated. <laughs> she's one thing I've noticed about her is how observant she is because I put up her stocking. I had to go fish it out of the garage. And when she first saw it before we put anything in there, she went up there and looked at it and then looked at me and looked at the stocking and looked like, did you know this was here? <laughs> <You know>? <laughs> <laughs> so she, it's like stuff like that, that, you know, and then today when she was out barking at the neighbors, cause they were getting loud down there, she had to come inside the house and do her rounds, like make sure everything was squared. I'm like, you got it handled girl. Calm down. <laughs> He's the police. Like, yeah. She's He's a little the police. Secret police. And then I'm thinking, I'm like, what the hell are you going to do? You're scared of the car. <laughs> you know. Like, <laughs> so, so yeah, but it's, it's been fun. Um, we're training. Her job is to look big and intimidating, not to actually intimidate. Yeah. <laughs> um, so she's been learning down cause she's got sick. She's got that down pat. So we're, I'm teaching her down and um, she's been doing great on the leash. No pulling, no walking ahead of me. Like if she starts to get a little ahead, I just turn around without telling her so that she's like, whoa. And then, then it puts her back in line. So, but she's been doing great. Just, I'm surprised. I thought I was going to have a hellion on my hands, but. You can herd her good. better than I can herd Lucy. Lucy, you got to go where she wants to go. And if you, if you try to tug her in a different direction, she grumbles. She's like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah i had to do that with my with my greyhounds especially moose um they're used to getting handled but like once they went into retirement um and they you know they didn't have to work anymore it was like and he was a big dog moose was and yeah. so when he would start pulling i would just no warning just turn around and go the opposite direction it kind of and di i did that a couple times until he finally got it like okay, I got to stay here. I can't. Oh, mom. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So, but she's, she's been great. So I'm very, very happy. I can't believe I was so adamantly against, you know, first of all, it was a puppy. Second of all, it was a guard dog. And I was like, hell no, you know? So, but it's been great so far. And now you love her and you'll never <laughs> give her back. <laughs> I got her the cutest thing that she loves. Hold on. I went to Target and I got her this. It was in the little kids section. So what you do is you put this on the head of a little kid and the rest of it is a blanket. Uh-huh. So kind of, hold on, let me take this off. Kind of goes like, like this. But it's and there's a your Halloween costume for next year. <laughs> it's, it's, a, um, it's a little, I don't know what this is. If it's a rhino it's a dragon. Or, or, a, or a dragon. I don't know. But she loves it. She just puts her head on here like it's sure. a pillow. And I put this on her head the other day and she was like, she didn't like it. But 
She's doing good. She's doing really good. So what do you guys have? What announcement do you what all you have? What you got going, John, Johnny? Um, I have already sent out the emails for everybody who reserved a spot in the tarot class. Um, if you did not get your email, just let me know or check your spam first and then let me know. Um, you have until the day of to pay for it, so no pressure right now. But I wanted to get the email out that way you, you have it and you see it and all that. So the email is sent out and I'll see y'all January 7th. That's all I can say. What about you, Jenny? I'm working uh, tomorrow uh, trying to finalize my website for the event in June, a healing energy event that I'm going to be teaching in Portland, Oregon. Um, you know who will probably be stopping by. <laughs> um, anyway, we're, we're going to try to have the website up by the end of this week with, with information about the event. Um, and then hopefully going live in January for registering for it and, and paying for it. Um, we're doing two different events, so don't sign up for both yet if you're interested in learning healing energy work. Um, I work from the astral body back into the physical, so you actually will get to where you can feel the astral body turning um, and aligning. This is not an event for someone who has healing needs um, that you can do on my website, jenlintero.com. You can book a reading. I can do a combination reading and healing energy work. Um, this is for people who want to learn how to do it, who will come back later and when they go home and they'll practice on their friends and they'll practice on their pets and may end up working out of a shop doing it. Um, my form of healing energy work does not have a name like Reiki. Uh, my guides taught me how to do this. So, um, you know, the basics of what I do, I had learned from Barbara Brennan, who wrote Hands of Light. She passed away last year and the breathing technique for channeling the energy. But the working with the astral body is something my guides taught me. So um, it's channeling a pure white light. Oh, and there's chaos. I told you she's coming up more. <laughs> um it's it's going to be a Friday night registration, Saturday all day intensive on healing energy, and a half day Sunday uh, where we'll do some exercises like opening up your mediumship and your psychic abilities. You know, once once you learn healing energy work, you start opening that up anyway. It all goes hand in hand. So uh, it's something anyone can do uh, because it's done through a breathing technique. Um, so anyone, I've never had someone I couldn't teach, um, anyone can do it. There are some people that will pick it up quicker that are natural healers that'll just get it, but it's very different from Reiki. It goes much deeper than Reiki. Um, you can do psychic surgeries and you can do alignments when things get out of alignment. So, um, it's quite different from Reiki. So if you know Reiki, you may want to learn this method too, and then you can incorporate both. And it definitely works, let me tell you. <laughs> yeah. Cool beans. Well, little little miss over here is over there trying to get their neighbors under control. So if you hear barking, that's uh she's on duty right now. Let me see if I can get her. Nope, she she's going back out. She's going back out. She's patrolling the situation. <laughs> so, so I, Johnny, I kind of I refer to it, um, somebody saying I should ask my guys what I call it. I kind of uh, refer to it as like harmonics healing because it harmonizes the astral body with the physical. The astral body has the memory of everything healthy. Um, so I, I, it's kind of a harmonics healing. It, it aligns everything together. Sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> interrupted. No, it's okay. It's totally okay. Sorry if you can hear Braxy out there. Can you hear her? <laughs> I hope she starts barking at the neighbors that play the music too loud That's in the garage. She's barking at right now because oh. they're they're outside with a bunch of people and the dog over there is barking. So she's barking like. <laughs> okay, so Johnny, why don't you why don't you start us off with Satan? <laughs> I can just comment. 
one thing uh, one on one thing before um we get into questions if we're looking a little bit blurry to you guys the little settings button in the top right corner of the video you can click on that the little round wheel and change your um settings resolution resolution your resolution and go to a higher resolution it'll take that fuzziness blurriness in a, away for some reason youtube doesn't hold it all the time so it'll it'll revert back to like a low resolution every now and then okay johnny take it away <laughs> so the, the church of satan, church of satan. Says, um, um they have taken to building shrines to Satan, and one of them was in a government building on top of that. Because if you want God everywhere, then you have freedom of religion, and they're going to bring this in too. Mind you, I think the majority of them, anyway, are saying this is not meant to be a religious statement. They are trolling you so that you understand that if you want to pressure me with your thing, then I get to pressure you with my thing. And it's not really my thing. I just want to show you the error of your behavior, which goes right above them because you have to have an open mind in order to have an educated one. So what's happening is all of the, the Christians, I guess you can call them, they're upset about it. And Satan trended on Twitter, Twitter for three days straight. And Baphomet did too. <laughs> Just in time and, for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> so this guy by the name of Michael Cassidy, he has beheaded one of the statues. And everybody is holding, well, not everybody, but you know, all the Christians are holding him as a hero because he cut the head off Satan. And then, of course, all the other people on the other side were like, do you realize that you were being trolled? Number one. Number two, this doesn't prove anything. Number three, congratulations for striking a blow against your imaginary enemy. So they were doing that whole bit back and forth and back and forth. However, his actions did his actual crime. And he's being charged with facing uh, fourth, fourth <laughs> degree criminal mischief is what it's called. And I, I had my hand on my head, my face in my hands the whole time because I'm thinking, this country, Jesus Christ, are we really fighting over Satan right now? Yeah, we are. We really <laughs> are. There was, there was uh, I forget where it was. Oh, it was in Florida where the, uh, the council came up with the, they're going to, before they start hearings and stuff, that they're going to start praying to Christ and it was going to be open. So this one guy came in every single day that they were open in session and started praying to Satan. And it took no less than a week before they shut that shit down. <laughs> because it's like, you're going to force it down everybody else's throat. You're going to use government money to force religion down people's throats. Then freedom of religion, you know, game free game for all, you know, so. I mean, you just did a video on, I had to pull up the guy's name, Philip Sean Grillo. If you have not seen Johnny's video on Philip Sean Grillo, who is running to replace uh, George Santos and does, you know, went to January 6th, but doesn't understand that that's where the, the house meets, you know? that he doesn't understand that that's where they hold their meetings in the Capitol building. It's like, you're running for an office, but you don't know where to report for the job. <laughs> well, look at Lauren Boebert, Jenny. <laughs> no, like, please, oh, no, I didn't know really Congress at... meant there. Really? What did like you think Boebert the Capitol didn't even was know for? Congress existed <laughs> before she decided to run. When Donald Trump got into office, named what's his Rick Sperry, Rick Scary, Rick Terry, Rick So, whoever the the guy in Texas was who wanted to eliminate the Department of Energy, and then Rick put Barry. him in charge of the Department of Energy. Meanwhile, the Department of Energy handles all of the explosives and the nukes in this country too, and he didn't know that. Part. No, no. So, what's the question, Johnny? <laughs> There's two questions. Okay. First, These people. Um, 
Johnny's point was do not defund our schools and you know you might want to go back to school. <laughs> <laughs> it's cuz it's it is the it is the thing that could be the whole and I know it sounds exaggerated but it's not. The thing that could cripple and crumple this entire country is the lack of education of the people in it. Because if it's easier to fool a person than to convince a person they've been fooled, right? And so we still have a section of our population that thinks Donald Trump's not a criminal and he's a very good idea for president. Meanwhile, everybody else is the problem. There's, there's something wrong here. Like if you still to this day in 2023, almost 2024, think that Donald Trump is a good idea, it is something is actually wrong with you. Like there's a mental problem. When Paul Ryan finally comes out and says he's an authoritarian narcissist wannabe dictator, when Paul Ryan, former Speaker of the House, finally says something, <laughs> hello. And mind you, he knew it all the time. He just wanted Donald Trump to sign his tax bill. That's all. Yeah. And then after that, he retired. <laughs> so what's so the question, Johnny? The question was, I want to do two. The first one was on the guy. Um, Michael Cassidy, what's going to happen with him? He's being charged with fourth degree criminal mischief, which I'm sure is a misdemeanor. But he has gotten some very big names, including Ron DeSantis, who is pitching in for his legal defense. And so he is now a hero, a martyr. What's going to happen with him? These people, God, Jesus, my laptop's take the wheel. trying to load new software. <laughs> Jesus, take the wheel and drive them to somewhere else, please. Drive them to the rapture so we can finally be with them, please. <laughs> please do. Just take. They want to go to heaven anyway. Just take them now, all of them. Just, just take them now. They'll enjoy it, and then we will be okay that they're not here. What's going to happen with him? I keep catching what's on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> what's that mean for you? <laughs> <laughs> Naturally. Mama Peggy's in the in the chat saying get a ghost bus. <laughs> That's what we can call it. <laughs> what did you guys get? The chariot of the damned. Um, King of Pentacles in the Page of Swords. So he has very bad news coming. A very disappointing news. The Page of Swords ain't nothing nice when it comes to news. So but I think he knows that because what's on his mind is resource he needs money of some sort which he'll get mind you um here's the thing though look for him because he has a, a more of a name than just being michael cassidy he has a they people know him so i think he was a veteran and he's a he's, he serves somewhere out there look look at this thing somebody pretty please and thank you but there's a star in the page of wands. He's going to be cable news in it. He's going to be talking at rallies, possibly one for Trump or something like that. But he's going to be a star now. Like he's going to be that person. They're going to push him and put him on the pedestal. And they always do this, mind you. And then six months later ish, then they find out, oh, there's the worst person that we've ever known, like the Ted Bundy. Like the woman who didn't want to sign the the gay marriage certificates, but she's been divorced three thousand times, and then the Kyle Rittenhouse. Like they always get a hero at first, and then it turns out they're the worst person, and then they back off. So this will be him too. So we'll see. What was it the uh, um, the Zigglers or what was their name down in Florida that were doing the three ways? The Zigglers, Christian, and whoever the other one is. He's in for big, big changes. You know, the the God loving people are going to be behind him. They're going to you know support him, and he's going to cling to them and and you know, say he's in service to them. But I think he's going to have to pay out a lot of money. 
Um, he's going to be um, he's going to he's going to be blocked from doing something. He's there's a he he's seen as emotionally unbalanced, and he's he's going to be blocked from doing something. Um, he could be looking at jail time through the courts. Um, so they might temper that down and say, okay, you know, like he might get a higher sentence and they temper it down, um, to where he has to do like some kind of community service or something, but he is going to get burdened by the courts. Um, there, community there are service those... erecting statues of Satan. That would be, that would be hilarious. <laughs> I think it'd be great if they make him pay to repair it, you know, like you got to use your own money. To put a head back on Satan, <laughs> you know, um, there will be people that celebrate him that you know he'll have some some fame from and stuff. But he's he's about to get burdened. Um, he may do something like this again. So if he does this again, he's he's gonna he's gonna get the book slammed at him, and it ain't the holy one. <laughs> <laughs> So I get that this whole stunt is all bullshit. He peddles lies anyways. The snake, the writer, he peddles lies because he thinks he's in the majority. The The money, the funding is getting eaten up and drying out. So I'm wondering if this was part of a political stunt to try to get people passionate and riled up to raise money, um, which good luck with that. The only people that are going to give you money are people that the crazy people in the church. But what happens to him? I get nothing. They, they take away some money. They take away some independence, perhaps, but nothing. It's not a huge deal, if that makes sense. You know, so it's not like life in prison or 35 years in prison. It's don't do that again, you know? So, yeah. What's the next question, Johnny? So will this continue? Will they put up more shrines to the unholy one? And, they... but, and wherever they're doing book bans, but want the Bible in the libraries, uh, <laughs> they're also saying you got to put the satanic Bible in there also then. The Bible full of magical people doing horrible things. Which is some good stuff in there too, but some of it is garbage. So take that part out and just <laughs> leave the good part. <laughs> I, I love it. What's the what's the guy from the Daily Show that goes around and talks to MAGA people and they're like, "So you want the Bible back in school?" He goes, "What about a book that contains incest and rape and blah blah blah?" Oh no, that can't be in schools. Well, that's in the Bible. <laughs> Gotta oh, have those yeah. evangelical fundamentalists buy a Bible, don't read it. You know, how oh, apropos is that first two cards? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's Terrell's <laughs> way of telling you you're wrong. My temperance card just fell out. <laughs> Gordon Clepper, thank what? you. Couldn't think of his name. <laughs> Um, will it continue? Yes. The devil and the Hierophant, this will be a battle. Um, I think what happens too is this has been established. The Hierophant and religion has been established since the eons, the beginning of time, if you let them tell it, right? This has not. This is something that morphs throughout the years. Because we're not talking about something evil at this point. We're talking about something annoying. This is a troll move. But when you fight so vehemently against such a thing, then you give it strength. You give it power. Then you give it purpose. And so now it's not just, oh, we're trying to troll you. Now, oh, we're going to put it everywhere you put Jesus, everywhere you put God, everywhere you put Mohammed and all these, anything you put something that's religious, we're going to put ours too. And so then it's going to become one of those things. But yes, this in, will continue. In Texas, they, they passed that thing where they're putting the Ten Commandments in every school. So it won't be long before you see a statue of Satan at the schools in, in Texas, because if it's good for the goose, it's good for the gander. I mean, and then put it all up there. Put 
put something from Mohammed and put something from Ola Dumari. Put put something from any and everybody up there. If you want all the religion Quran. is equal, then put it all up there. Yeah, this is this is fighting words. <laughs> like they're you know going to move into action more. Uh, you know, difference here. Uh, I get they're going to move into action more with schools um, and strength behind that. So how schools are structured, the, the libraries or whatever, and they're going to uh, disrupt the movement um, of the religious right um, to try to get things more grounded. Thank you, um, Joanne. They're going to try to uh, get things more grounded for Americans in general. They're disgusted by everything that they're throwing out there in the government, because we do have a separation of church and state. Um, and I think they're, they're looking to get um, something material on the books. Um, you know, like they want a law or something reinstate, like it's in our constitution, the separation of church and state. But I think they're looking to like have something that secures that, that, that reinforces that. Yeah, and I understand what Johnny was saying about put all the statues up there, and I understand what people in this in the chat are saying too. Like Hinduism, they have a bunch of gods; they have a whole pantheon. The thing is, those gods are easily overlooked. The thing that pisses off a Christian more than anything is Satan. Why? Because that yeah. is their declared nemesis. You know, so yeah. Satan I mean, and Muhammad. Yeah. They so got they mad that. last week over the gay nutcracker. You know, yeah, it was a nutcracker holding a flag. <laughs> um, <laughs> and they got this. Will this continue? I got a yes, because it's a, it's a problem. It's an obstruction that raises a lot of arguments and criticism because there's supposed to be a separation. And it leads to several arguments, more than one in more than one area. Don't shove your religious bullshit down everybody else's throat. That's why you have church. Go there and judge people and be hateful amongst your crowd. Don't, you know, don't. I mean, this is something I'd love throat. to see escalated to the Supreme Court. I dare you to take out the separation of church and state. Uh -huh. <laughs> yep. Triple dog dare you. Triple dog. Exactly. Uh, they still fight over the color of Santa Claus. Yeah. It's like this, this, it's John, not a real the color person. of Jesus. <laughs> they, fight they fight over, over Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, according to them, is a blonde haired, blue eyed guy that what, looks like he came and out. That of the just journey. annoys me to the highest end because the description of Jesus is written down in the very book that y'all take to church with y'all every week. Johnny, just because they have the book, don't mean they read it. It's he's it's, it's what what is going on? Right over Taylor Swift, Charlie Kirk, and his little panel of three on that podcast. You know, she's not a good role model for kids because she's not married and having babies. Come on, I mean, but Melania it was the Trump most is running around. Thing. Melania Trump is splattered naked all over the internet, but that's the best first lady ever. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're so pissed off because they know that Taylor gets people registered to vote, and they're like, she's not a good role model, you know, and she looks too sexy in her outfits and everything. I've never seen four grown men have a bigger heart on for Taylor Swift than those four trying to, to badger her. <laughs> mm -mm. There's no such thing she's as too She's sexy just after fame. That. It's like, well, what do you think you're after? You have a podcast, you're going for fame too. Yeah. Same thing. If, if you're worried about a young woman mobilizing young Americans to vote and another young woman handing out banned books, it's time to rethink your political affiliation because that says you're against it, voting and you're against education. Okay. And you're against so, a woman empowering other women. That you're yeah. against women. You want people. And why is it? And not working. Y'all ain't got nobody on y'all side mobilizing your youth. Why is it there is no got... Hit Rock does not count. No. <laughs> Hit Rock where's the, where's the, all the country music stars? All of them are Republican, pretty much. Well, not all of them, but most of them. They don't like the Dixie Chicks, but everybody else is pretty much right wing. Get some of them people to come out and and mobilize, but you can't do it. What are, what are they going to, Johnny, they've tried woke beer. They've tried gas stove. They've tried Barbie. They've tried Sesame Street. I mean, there's a laundry list. 
Chick-fil-A, like all sorts <laughs> of stuff. And it's just like, all they have to, all they have to offer is anger, no solution, just anger, you know? Mm -hmm. So Outrage. I would have to vote for that shit. <laughs> so, do we have any more Satan questions? That was it on Satan. <laughs> I have a couple of questions. Oh. We just opened, well, not we, the uh, geniuses, GOP in the house decided it was going to be a monumentally great idea to open a Biden impeachment inquiry because Donald Trump gave them marching orders. And um, of course they have to level the score. This is all a political hit job via the orange Mussolini that's shitting his pants at least 12 times a day now in Mar-a-Lago. Um, even the Republicans that were on the record with the news said, we, there's nothing here to impeach them for, impeach Biden for. There's nothing here. There's no there there. However, when it came up to vote, every single one of them went with the Toed orders the line. And, and, and towed the line and voted for an impeachment inquiry. Now, we all know that this is at the behest of Trump. We all know this. Like, it's, it's, you, you have to be blind to not see it. I want to know. The, the do nothing Congress that has passed nothing. Oh, Jen, they passed the bill the other day about having whole milk in schools. So, I mean, not so much about school shootings, but at least your kids can get whole milk. Yeah, and the, the woman yeah. who was quoting the Grinch who stole Christmas or was talking about Santa Claus needs his whole milk to get around, <laughs> around Virginia the Bird. Earth. Virginia Bird. She's from uh I think yes, she's from Virginia, Virginia, there is a Santa Claus. Oh my god, I can't believe you use Santa Claus as your reference for getting whole milk through. <sighs> who wants to tell her? Who wants to tell her? But okay, so I guess I guess my first question is. How will the Republican-led Biden impeachment inquiry impact them? Because it's, it's causing Biden to increase his fundraising. <laughs> He's getting mm -hmm. more money. Like Johnny said, this damn idiot is like people are just falling off the cliff like lemons, like lemmings, and, and they just keep going. It's like, okay. So how will the Republican-led Biden impeachment investigation impact the GOP? I don't even need no more cards. That's it. You're yeah, just going to stop? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, okay, I don't need no more. The, this, this here... More than it just being a representative of Donald Trump here in the tarot. This is marching into something unprepared, but doing it willingly. And this person has to get all the way to the world card, which means they have a lot of ups and downs and lessons. And here is the card of lessons, the Wheel of Fortune. There's a lot of lessons that they have to learn, a lot of lessons that they have to 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 get in here, they're crossed with the two of pentacles. This is going to be a balancing act that they are not going to control very well because it comes to death in the tower. This is not a bad card on its own, but when your changes cause disaster, then it kind of is. And so this is not going to be good whatsoever. And mind you, it invigorates the other side, which... I guess Biden should send you a Christmas card, actually. But it invigorates the other side. But this is a horrible decision. Even Lindsey Graham said that he's not impeachable right now. So this is not a good idea. But by all means, go right ahead. Yeah, I get this is bad news for the Republicans because yeah, they're showing they're not balanced. And, and it's all illusion. There's nothing concrete. Um, and, you know, they're just out in the cold with any evidence here. So it's it's going to uh, temper them down a little bit. I get justice for Biden um, that, you know, he's fine. But there's, I keep getting this. Uh, we may have to ask something about this tonight. I keep getting like Jack Smith's getting ready to move into action on some Republicans. Um, 
it looks like to me too, like it gives them a messaging to like their donors. Um, but it, it goes nowhere. Mm -hmm. It's just talking points. I get that it goes nowhere. The lies are seen for what they are. If anything, the reward is that people become committed to increase their ballots or their registrations. So have fun with that. So my next question is, because I, the, we all know you have to be blind, dumb, and stupid or, or, a, MAGA, or a MAGA head to not see the writing on the wall of how yes. this is going to end up. Will they have, will they write up articles of impeachment on Joe Biden? They can inquire all they want. Are they going to, Marjorie Taylor Greene has been trying to impeach Biden since before he was sworn into office. And then she I got mean, into it was a so little funny with Boebert over there because Boebert was wanting to impeach Biden. It, 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 they have nothing. They just want to impeach. You know, what were you every, every time Democrats would ask for what? They'd be like crimes and misdemeanors. What crime? There is no crime. <laughs> they can't say the crime because we're, there is we're nothing. Gonna, we're going to investigate to find one, you know? So yeah. will they deliver <laughs> articles of impeachment on Joe Biden? Is the question. For, for un, uh, They'll make up some bullshit. Those concrete crimes and misdemeanors, you know, just made up crap. So will the Republicans write up articles of impeachment on Biden? I should say more specifically, will they deliver articles of impeachment? They can write them up all day, every day. They probably have like 50 copies just in MTV's office well, alone. You know? And they, they did that vote and then they're gone for three weeks. So yeah, it gives them it was something such, while they're at home for the holidays to talk it about. Was, it was such an emergency that they voted on it and then took off for three weeks. So will they deliver articles of impeachment on Joe Biden? I think they're going to try to do this um, the final minutes of the play type thing, like maybe August of next year, September or something. Like when I try to push it as close to the election as they possibly can for distraction purposes. But just, I mean, I mean, never mind. You know, trying to I don't know run the country. Let's let's have these personal little battles because your guy who broke crimes or broke broke the law and committed all the crimes, got indicted and impeached 99 times, but okay. It's plain as day that you can tell that they're just trying to level the playing field. That's it. This is just fight. They ain't got nothing to do with the law. Mm -mm. It's, you know, in secret, that's, that's what they're planning. You know, communication, right? Like a document or something. They will complete a document and present it. Um, I get a big old yes crowning the reading. Um, there's going to be a big um, battle on the floor because, like, in order to uh, write up the articles of impeachment, then they have to go to a trial, right, so to speak. This is just going to be an abundance of problems, abundance. And there's a lot of peop more people that will be changing against Trump, um, changing on their views on him. So... Um, they're going to lose this battle in, in, in Congress, but yes, they will. And here's the thing. Okay, you impeach Joe Biden. It goes to the Senate. Hypothetically, they convict Joe Biden. Then you get stuck with Kamala Harris. What are you going to do? Impeach her too? So you get who you want, and then you get Mike Johnson. I mean, Mike Johnson in there, the yeah. nut job that thinks he was put there by Moses, Moses? or whoever it was. Moses. <laughs> Moses. What the hell? Yeah. I didn't hear that one. Yeah. Oh, you. Oh, I'm gonna tell you about it. He he <laughs> he he had a vision or a, a hearing or a calling, a calling, a calling. God, God that he's me. going to be the Moses to lead America into. Now I'm a recovering Catholic. I control all deleted out of my that shit out of my head a long time ago. So don't ask me about Moses. I don't know crap. But it's like you're hearing voices in your head that are telling you that you're Moses. Can, can he also answer how many years was Moses lost before he actually led anybody anywhere? 
Johnny, who gives, I mean, I mean, particulars. Stop asking <laughs> questions. <laughs> I, I get a yes that they're going to deliver articles of impeachment and it has to do with something around an organization or a, a, a society with money or resources or finances. But they're trying to elevate it, bring it up, and they're trying to get them on financials for what? For what? So loaning up, giving a car loan to to his son. Yeah, I I don't care if if Biden gave Hunter the money to pay back his taxes and stuff because he got his finances all screwed up when he was going through the drug addiction and stuff. Yeah, and I I don't care if he you know his dad if he gave him the money to to get on his feet financially. He wasn't the president when that happened. Nope, nope. It's like these people they're they're just. They're just throwing shit out the wall. Tell us that he has a father that's a good father instead of like Trump, who doesn't, you know, Eric, who? Yeah. Moses. Don yeah. Who? Ivanka? Moses, Johnny. Moses. 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 So, so my next question is Will Republicans that's point the house in 2024? What, what, what is that? Will they hold the house in 2024 with all this they shit? Hold <laughs> They have a majority of what one, one. Yeah. For now, will they hold the house in twenty? I'm going to you. I'm going to take your vitamins because we. <laughs> what do y'all get? get the your majority is gone. Oh my god! And there's eighteen Republicans right now that are super vulnerable in Biden one districts. And Mike Mark Elias won a crap ton of his lawsuits to redistrict all the gerrymandered maps, especially the ones in New York. Have fun. So will the Republicans hold the House in 2024? They should be worried. I said that as a joke, mind you. But <laughs> they might want to be worried now. But will they know this flew out five of cups is loss, grief, sorrow, tragedy. Mind you, the good part of the, or the not a good part, but you know, the silver lining of the five of cups is you have two cups remaining. So they lose a majority, but they don't have, the house is still not a functional thing. And so they're not going to have some super majority on the democratic side, but it's a majority. On the list, and will they hold the majority? The answer was no, and here is why: Ace of Cups, Three of Swords, separation of people. So, I have some people that go bye bye. Mm -hmm. What'd you get, Jenny? I think they'll hang on to more seats than we expect, but I don't think they hang on to the majority because the the growth of the Republicans is burdened. People are leaving the Republican Party. Um, so by the time it's all said and done, no. Um, and I, I get like there's going to be a lot of votes that are contested in, through the court system, too. So they may delay like confirming some of the seats uh, because of that. But um, I, I pulled um, three cards after that. I, I get good news on in securing it for the Dems because I wanted to see like what would come up for the Dems. So I don't I don't think so. I get that the feedback from the elections is a flip, a change. It goes back. So have fun, Mike Johnson. Maybe you can go have a little heart to heart with Moses and tell him where you can tell him where you can go and leave. Let my people go. What was it? Somebody, somebody said uh, that God guided them to something, and then when they got rejected Wait, out there, that. like, yeah, they were like, oh, well, yeah, when they lost lost their election. Oh, no, it, it was um, Tim Scott. Yeah, Tim Scott. Mm -hmm. God yeah, guided him to run for president, but th didn't mm -hmm. tell him he was going to lose. <laughs> it's like, go ahead. <laughs> Embarrass your ass. Get out there. God's a poll. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. God, they go out there and run for president. And then he God just did back you, to Go run. Let's, let's see yeah. how this works out for you. And, and just kind of like that whole thing that with MAGA Mike, Jesus this, God that, Jesus this. And okay, well, Jesus and God, according to your philosophy, decided that Joe Biden was going to be the best. 
So what makes you so special to overturn God's will and install Donald Trump? As Johnny make says, it make sense. Google yourself in private or God will do it in public. And Jim Scott was a, <laughs> was a big case of that. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's, it's, it's bananas with these people. So can we ask, will uh, Biden's fundraising continue to grow because oh, of the Oh, and that's another thing about the, the Republicans. Donald Trump basically freaking bankrupted them. They are down to like $9 million for all the states, down ticket ballots, everybody. $9 million because you all been <clears throat> catering to an orange freaking Mussolini down in Florida that wets, wets his diaper 10 times a day. You know, and then McCarthy was the one that was really good at, at fundraising. He's gone, and now you got MAGA Mike. Who's he gonna Who's he gonna fundraise from? The Heritage Society, Moses. You know, Moses. <laughs> I'm sure one of the reasons Trump doesn't have a dog is because that dog would be sniffing him all the time, like ooh. <laughs> you know how dogs when they smell something. <laughs> So let's see. So why does fundraising, fundraising continue to grow? This is ridiculous, these people. Everybody's asking how we three ended up together. Johnny and I started back in January 2019. We did our first video together on Skype and uploaded it to YouTube. Um Becca came along. Uh, Johnny found Becca first and introduced her to me. And then Johnny figured out how to do StreamYard so we could go live together. And now we've been live together for four years. I always well, forget I, we I, have new subscribers that, that don't know our backstory a little bit. I haven't been with you guys the whole four. I think I came in and later. I think, I think you guys were already on for like six or seven. No, you've been here we for four. We were doing we something like that. Yeah. We've been, um, like, I, I saw, like, uh, in my old videos, uh, there were some videos where it was just me and Becca, you know, and there's old vid a lot of old videos of just me and Johnny and stuff. Mm -hmm. There's videos where it only shows Johnny's hands <laughs> before mm -hmm. he showed his face. I remember face. those. I remember those. There what did days. you get, Johnny? Um, I got nothing about Monday. What I got is Eight of Swords and the Hermit, Lovers, Ace of Swords, Four of Wands, Three of Cups. So yes, he'll he'll have tons of support. And there's these are two celebratory cards. This is like your weddings and your birthdays, and this is your reason for celebration. So he's fine. That's basically what the reading was trying to say there. However, there is a King of Swords that is not so much fine. Um, there is some... Mental traps, some encasement, there's some isolation. So what's going to drive Joe Biden's <laughs> funding is Donald Trump. Not completely because, you know, people are going to support Biden because he's running for re-election. But Donald Trump is going to help a lot. And I think this is, Will Fortune's not here, but I think this is part of destiny. Because he is going to cripple the Republicans because how can he not, while at the same time boosting Joe Biden where he's going to need it going into next year when they start the impeachment thing. And um, Joe Biden does have some problem with outreach when it comes to people who are not white. And so he is going to need the Kamala's of his administration to go out and campaign to people who look like them. And so he's going to need all the help he can get. And so here comes Donald Trump wagging the finger saying, you're the criminal and I'm not. So it's going to help. So he's, he's going to need it and he's going to get it. So there's that. But I love that he's using Trump's own words in ads against him. That's it's like, you know, I'd be playing all day, every day, a commercial that where Trump says, I'll be a dictator on day one, you know, and say, is this what you want? A dictator? Or, you know, or in, 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 in Trump's own words in an interview, women who have abortions should be punished. <laughs> Look at what we're seeing across the U.S. right now. Please so go ahead. That's what Please. I'm getting to is the women that are burdened, <laughs> that are passing judgment, those are the ones that are going to push him up in, in fundraising, um, you know, getting out there door to door, knocking on doors and everything. 
because they see their rights ending. They feel shut out. And um, I think he's going to use um, Kamala in some higher uh, authority somehow. So maybe sh to reach, you know, people of color and stuff to uh, Latinos and, and uh, blacks and minorities. Uh, I feel like he is going to utilize her to get out there because she's got the tools to do that. But he's going to be doing it every single day. He's he's like got people on it in his campaign every day. I get a yes. Um, uh, it, it's going to, there's going to be a lot of like media campaigns. Um, perhaps not just him, not from him, but people in his camp, senators, con uh, congressmen, people in the Biden administration, people in departments of education, whatever, name it. There's going to be a lot of marketing for him, like making him more famous, more favorable, give him more celebrity. Um, also his achievements and accomplishments, mm -hmm. you know, the, the pack, uh, the, the chips act and the, what's the, the other one? That yeah, infrastructure. infrastructure. That it was infrastructure week for four years with Trump, and all he was doing was funneling money into his own pocket with the build the wall bullshit, you know? So it, it it's a choice here, but the opportunity goes in his favor, if that makes any sense, what I'm what I'm saying. What three cards did she just get? The crossroads, the moon, and the key. You know what's interesting is I got nothing about money, Jen. Did you get you didn't really get nothing about money and Becca didn't no. either. So it's like that's not even the thing. The thing is overall support comes rushing out of everywhere to build him. Up. Put him, make him he famous. Won't. You know, and that's another thing that that the, they're getting criticism for is that they're not out um bragging about all of his accomplishments when Trump was out there bragging 24 seven about failures. You know, like, remember, remember that, remember that one time when Donald Trump started a trade war with China and bankrupted all the fucking farmers in the Midwest. And he yeah. acted like it was the best thing he had, like, like, like they were just rolling him. You bankrupted these people, you know? So it's yeah. about putting him front and center and having him recognized for his achievements. That's what is priority. Joe Biden does not have to cut up his suit and auction it off. <laughs> oh my What's God. That? Dude, that is the tackiest shit I have ever. I saw that and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> joke? Wait, wait, what is it? Is he going to start selling off pieces of a car piece? <laughs> Can I cut up my suit? You could buy a piece of my clothing. Do you I want mean, the part where the smelly diaper was, or do you want the lapel? <laughs> I mean, I guess, I guess I'll put some on the, on the same on the same step as Melania because she took off her clothes for money too. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah, If you buy all, what is it, forty something NFT cards? You get a yeah, piece four thousand dollars. You really? They still selling those things, like. Yes. <laughs> but the funny thing is, thank you, Hope. <laughs> thank you so much. The funny thing is, is that on the thing, it keeps asking for foreign investors to give them money. So there's a pipeline. Well, right the sad there. part, somebody's going to buy it. Yeah. There's the some sad part is, it's probably not that suit he's cutting up. He's probably getting some cheap polyester one and cutting it up. <laughs> There's some poor schmuck out there in middle America or Southern America with one tooth living in a living in a tin can trailer with half a roof that has an entire shrine devoted to Donald Trump. Oh Donald Trump. I can't. You know what? I got these magic peppermints they'll send you to mar lago mentally and spiritually you won't go there physically but for ten thousand dollars you too can have one. <laughs> if that's all it takes i got a whole jar of these things i just god wait what? I, I, a whole lot of money are soon part of you know I mean, it's like he's selling his freaking suit parts of his suit 
his diapers. I bet you though that clothes is gonna smell like dirty diapers if it's if it's the real suit he chopped what up. The hot box of hell is going on in this country. Please, Jesus, come just come get them now. Like <laughs> TikTok, TikTok, please. Because what like, the where's, where's the rapture? I know. <laughs> So we've had a lot of questions. We got a lot of questions on the community page in regards to abortion rights and what's happening in Texas. And um, I haven't heard, I've heard it once in the media, but most of the attention is going to Mrs. Cox down in Texas who had to sue. The, the judge said yes, and the Supreme Court said no. And then she had to flee the state. We read that on last week. There was another woman, Brittany Watts, in Ohio, a black woman who miscarried in her toilet, who's being put on trial right now to go to prison for having a freaking miscarriage. So for, for um, abuse of a corpse, abuse of a corpse. Um, Meanwhile, most women do miscarry into a toilet. Yeah. So. I have a question. I don't, I'm not specifically talking about Miss um, Cox or Miss Watts in this one. Those are just two that we know of besides the 10 year old girl that had to flee the state. Well, was it Idaho or Iowa or whatever to get an abortion because she was 10 years old and she was raped. Um, so we keep hearing about all these atrocities. I was watching Alex Wagner's show the other day on replay and I did not know that in Ireland, they had an extreme abortion ban in Ireland, just like they're doing in all these Southern states and these Republican strongholds until a woman died of sepsis. They killed a woman from sepsis. And there was such public outrage that they finally backed off and lifted the ban. Now, Given that it's all these Republican states, I would not be surprised if that has not happened already and they've just covered it up, kind of like they covered up the freaking COVID deaths. That's just me being conspiratorial, you know, but I it, it it's it's not like it's it's not like it's a baseless claim, you know. Right. You know, so my question is. Civil lawsuits, we've seen these. Um, there was another woman in Texas that sued the state of Texas because they forced her to carry a non-viable non fetus. fetus. Thank you, Laura. Um, and they would, she could not get the medical attention she needed until she was in sepsis. As a result of that, not only did she lose the pregnancy, she has now ruined her womb because of lawmakers in Texas who are not medical doctors dictating what you can and cannot do. And I was talking to Peanut about it the other day, and I was like, you know what they need to do? They need to start fucking criminally prosecuting these sons of bitches who are not doctors and denying women life-saving health care. And, okay, you live. Well, guess what? You're basically sterile now because you, – do you see what I'm saying? So – they would they would like to have the women executed, you know, that are are having yeah. abortions. You know, yes. I mean that that's how they see it. So so in my mind, I mean, I don't know how the law works, but these civil suits are not going to get anywhere. And in my mind, until you start criminally prosecuting these sons of bitches because they're the ones that endangered your life, and you know, if Lord forbid somebody's passed away, you know. Um, I want to That's know. That's the thing. Like we don't hear about how many how many women are now either sterile or uh, have passed away because their life passed is away from hurting. sepsis or something else. And I, like I said, I would not be surprised if it's the same thing that we saw with COVID, where they're just covering that shit up. And for Mrs. Cox, I really do appreciate her taking the time to go public and putting it up on the national screen. But I cannot be ignorant and not think this is a white woman who has privilege. I'm not saying she's super rich, but she had the privilege to go leave the state to get the health care she needed. We know that most women of color and minorities do, and, and even white people don't have that sort of, of privilege. And what I mean privilege is the means of being able to, to escape 
to go get the health care that you need. So, and then and one Torino of the brings up a valid point too. They're, they're causing uh, a conflict with HIPAA oaths that, that yes. the doctors have to take for, you know, privacy. Yeah. They're, so they're, they're violating the, the HIPAA oaths. They're violating the HIPAA oaths. They are essentially, I can't say practicing medicine, but in a sense, they're practicing medicine without a license because you are a lawmaker, yep. not a doctor. Well, it, they're practicing lawmaking without a license too. A lot of yeah. them don't understand yeah. like any of it. So, so my my question is: Will any of these Republican lawmakers? Oh, and by the way, one of the Supreme Court justices in Texas, he's up for re-election, and he has been bragging about how he was arrested like 30 something times for harassing women at abortion clinics, you know? Mm -hmm. So, um, I want to know, and I'm talking all the way up from that piece of shit. What's his name? Uh, uh, the AG in Texas that was paying his mistress. Paxton, Paxton, the one that was paying his mistress with taxpayer money to go after doctors and a woman. I mean, make it make sense, you know? So what what I want to know is, will any of these lawmakers be held criminally liable for causing physical harm? Like, and I don't even know if that's a thing. I'm being completely hypothetical. If there's a loophole somewhere where somebody can take it up for for legal action, because you're you're endangering somebody's life. You get into a vehicle and you hit somebody, you're you just you can be criminally liable for that shit. So you That's as right. a lawmaker denying a person health care should be the same thing. So will any of them be held criminally liable for blocking women from having health care? <clears throat> I don't think any time soon, but there is a woman who is going to take the charge on this or um, because her story is going to be one that carries a lot of momentum. And because they get the chariot and the knight of swords. <clears throat> so a lot of momentum. The chariot is something that this is your victory, winning the race. The knight of swords is, is rushing forward, the chaotic, fast energy type of thing. There is a queen of wands and a six of swords. So this woman is, she goes through a very, very, very troubled time. I think this is, doesn't say this here, but that's kind of what I'm getting is this is going to be public enough though, to where, again, this carries a lot of momentum. There's the tower and the four of swords. So this is something that could have cost her her life. Um, and she hung on, possibly, hopefully, here with the strength card. And so, because <clears throat> here's my problem. As a man, you have never had a child on the inside of you. You've never had to make the decision to do anything Sorry. with. Them. Most of them have no idea how female reproductive yeah, organs. That's work. my problem right there. You are in a position that's because I always hearken back to when they had a, a hearing with the man who's in charge of Google and they asked him every question about their iPhone. Those are two completely different companies and two completely different things. You have people sitting in positions of power who don't know anything about what they're legislating on. And so all they do is legislate based upon feeling. Feeling is not law. And so here, this person is going to have enough momentum. And then the high priestess, this is a woman in the position of power. And so 
She is going to she's going to move some sort of mountain here. I don't know if anybody gets prosecuted because of this, but since that's what we're asking, I'll say yes. But she she sticks it to not I shouldn't say stick it to somebody. She gets something done based upon her her situation. So I don't know when though, because you know tarot and timing, but this 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 is gonna be a big thing though. Very big thing. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have justice right on the bottom, and it will be a very big thing. I get a, a man who has lost um, his partner, who has lost his love interest. Um, it, it's it's going to come down, like I'm getting it, it it'll happen in two phases. He's going to go after money first, like go after them for financial, like civilly. But, and he's going to win that. And when he wins that, he's not done with them. He's going to come back and... He wants to put an end to all of this. So um, he's going to secure a bigger fight with them and and go after the laws themselves. So um, I, I think America will be watching all this confusion and gaslighting and everything that's going on. But I think there's somebody who loses a partner who's going to go after them financially and then go after them because I of mean, the laws. These, these, these forced birthers, which I refuse to call them pro-life because if they really were pro-life, they would be helping kids that are alive and born that are super in poverty that can't afford to eat a 25 cent hamburger. Don't want to give them public lunch in the public school. Uh -huh. like, uh -huh. But so, make sure there's whole milk in that lunch we don't want to give. <laughs> Have the baby, but we don't give a crap about it once it's here. Exactly. So, you know, you're free to believe in the tooth fairy all you want. When your wife is sitting there dying of sepsis, go pray to God and tell me how well that works out. You know, it's just, it's, I make me Satan for a week, dude. And I would turn this shit around like, like that. Um, I get that there is a lot of public suffering. The public suffers here and there's, it, it's, it's danger. It's a danger to public suffering, if that if that makes sense. So I kind of get like a yes, because this is also a decision. So a decisions that were made that put the public in harm over surgeries, but it was a decision that was made. So I, I get a yes, I don't know when, perhaps as like Jenny said, where a, a, a husband or a father or a spouse loses their wife or their daughter over denial of health care and then somebody's got to pay because when you take it to civil and the people win civilly well it's not the lawmakers that are paying it's the taxpayers that are paying for the decisions of the shitty lawmakers and i was seeing also there has been one and a half million people that have signed on to a petition in florida to have abortion rights put on the ballot Will abortion is everywhere they do that they lose? <laughs> they lose. Look at what happened in Ohio. They told them we want abortion rights, and then they turned around and said, Well, go fuck yourselves. We're the lawmakers here. You're gonna do as I say, but not as I do. You know, Kansas, so, yeah, I, I think it's Missouri right now that's looking at uh putting a law in place that would execute women that have an abortion. I mean, it's just crazy. I mean, this is this is <laughs> what is the point. I don't understand. Like somebody explain it to me. There's this mythology that women are going around having abortions because we have nothing else better to do. But to take it to that extreme, to where we're going to throw you in prison or we're going to execute you, tell me how you're doing God's work or Jesus's work there. Because I might be dumb, but I remember very clearly in the Ten Commandments that thou shalt do no harm. So I have known people who have had stillborns, abortions, and miscarriages. Three of the hardest things that those people have ever experienced in their life and probably ever. There is not a man in that Congress anywhere that, well, I shouldn't say that, but I'm going to say it anyway, that understands that. And what I am, and mind you, this is extreme what I'm about to say, but I'm going to say it anyway. I get the feeling that the Republican mindset is a mental illness. Yeah. You think you are the party of God in Jesus, but you don't care about people 
at all. All you care about is profit mm -hmm. and money and putting your boot on somebody's neck so that they can heal and do what you say do. There's something wrong with that mindset, period. I don't care if you're conservative, if you're middle of the road, if, if you have a Republican mindset and you don't care about people, but you call yourself the party of Jesus, something is wrong with you, period. Yeah. Other than you just being a liar and a hypocrite, something's wrong with you. And healthcare, should be a mother's right as well. So and if this woman there, is suffering, it's... then that's the life you start with, not the one that you have that can be disposed of. Or forcing so. a woman to give birth. There was a there was another woman, uh, a twenty something year old girl, whose fetus had not developed a head. She had to flee because they were going to first force a woman to give birth to a headless fetus. How can you, like Johnny said, how can you say that you're the party of God and Jesus when you're forcing someone to through that fucking cruelty? Uh -huh. Please make it. It. And if men could get pregnant, abortions would be available at every Starbucks and Jiffy Lube. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, so, so I want to know, will the abortion abortion ball uh, thing that the Floridians 1.5 million people so far last I heard with a vast majority of them being Republican that want it put on the ballot um, will it pass in Florida that could be a big win in Florida mm -hmm. it just makes Ooh. me sick it makes me fucking sick well, this is my childbirth card. So there is Page of Cups is a yes and why? Because the world and the talent. So there is a shaking of the foundation and it is happening. This is not just a local thing. It's getting national coverage, world coverage, because all we're, all news is, is world. But this carries a lot of weight. So yes. So yes. And it's you know because all of the states that have put it on the ballot have won. That's why so many other states are like, oh fuck no, don't put that shit on the ballot because we're gonna have our asses handed to us, you know. I get a big old yes, it would pass in in Florida, but you know, they would secure this in celebrations, but there'll be a lot of anxiety because the lawmakers are going to like, you know, try and ignore it, just like they did in Ohio, where they're trying to ignore that it passed. Um, so they're going to have to, you know, come up with something new to overcome the problems, but I get a big yes, big yes. There's a lot of support for it. I get the scythe, which is your surgeries and your decisions and your danger. Okay. The clover and the storks. Yes. And it will only increase more and more and more and more and more. People are going to want this to turn it back. So Speaking on abortions, Ted Cruz got cornered by a reporter about the woman in uh, Texas, Miss Cox. He ran like a bitch. Ran yeah, like, he's like call, a bitch. call my office or whatever. Call my call my office, call my office. And she's like, Yeah, I did, and nobody's answered it, and it's been days. So these Republican lawmakers that dandle, dangled that carrot in front of everybody that made abortion the boogeyman, well, the dog caught the car. Dog don't know what the hell it's going to do with the car now when you see all of this stuff happening to their constituents. I get it. Ted Cruz is a heartless, soulless, slimy piece of shit who I would not even trust to watch my dog. That's how disgusting he is. He didn't even take care of Snowflake in a nice... No, store. he left Snowflake in the house all by itself, you know? Um, so, but it's one thing to see these lawmakers... They have a dog sitter? No, I don't he did, think so. He did have somebody that was going to go over there, but there was no power. So Snowflake was in a cold house by itself. Because his kids... I don't know why that surprises me, but it does. <laughs> because his kids wanted to go to Cancun. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't take responsibility for his own actions, didn't take responsibility for leaving his dog, and then blamed his minor children for him going to Cancun. So, so anyways, Ted Cruz was hounded by that reporter. And there was another 
lawmaker too that was chased down by a reporter about um abortions and stuff and they're running away they're running away like they won't even they they have no excuse for what they support because in reality they don't really support it they it's just okay yeah that's where it's going let's go this way you know um so my <coughs> question is when is ted cruz is coming up on re-election isn't he Mm, I thought yes. not. because Kensinger he said he's not running against him this time, but he would in 2030 or whatever. He's up. Yes, I think he is. Yes. Next year, 2024. So he's up for re-election in 2024. Uh-huh. So Ted Cruz is up for re-election in 2024. Now we all know Texas is gerrymandered from here to the moon. My, Mark Elias and his team has been fighting like hell in the courts to unscrew the gerrymandered bullshit. I want to know, will Ted Cruz win re-election? And whoever the other republic I mean, it would be grand for women in Texas to organize and their husbands and people and men too against these sons of bitches that took a bunch of money at the expense and the backs of women in this country to punish them, you know? So, so will Ted Cruz win re-election? What are you doing? What you doing, baby girl? He shouldn't but I think he will. Oh, okay. There is the hermit, which is sort of middle of the road, not yes or no. It's one of those maybe, depending cards. Then I get the Empress and the Six of Cups, Nostalgia and Expansion, and then I pulled one more, Seven of Swords. There's something uh, crafty and sneaky. There's a scheme that is launched that has to do with the abundance of uh, people, especially youth. And so there may be some, not intimidation, what's the other one? Suppression. So there's there's some schemes that could. I think so. I do think so. I do think so. I bet the woman have the answers and bring the access to something that's very important that has been all over the media. So it's saying here women are going to kick his ass out but it's stolen, taken away. That's that's what I'm getting. It's like they're the, the women coming out trying to block him um, are that that movement is growing, um, you know, and and trying to um, bring out the votes. But I get he returns because same thing that's happened before there's some kind of treachery going on behind the scenes it's a lie so it could be a combination of ken paxton and um <clears throat> hot wheels over there in texas manipulating shit because ken paxton was on his way out until donald trump got on the phone and said you throw him out i'm having you primaried you know which okay um so let me see here Can can we talk about 10 inches? 10 inches? The What's ten, that? The 10 inch binder that went missing. Yeah, that was next. <laughs> that was my next question. Um, I remember in the, grand tableau, in the grand tableau that I did for uh it's out of date now. It's no longer uh I don't I don't think it's applicable to now, but the grand tableau that I did for Mark Meadows a while ago showed that he knew and he also moved boxes of classified documents and then later on cassidy hutchinson said came out and said yeah uh mark meadows was moving classified documents and then just recently it was said that um, cassidy hutchinson said that mark meadows she knew that he had that binder so yeah. for the he tried to get her to keep it in her desk and she was like that belongs at a skiff <laughs> yeah for the people that were asking on the community page cassidy hutchinson said mark meadows that's had a heavy it. ass binder 10 inches yeah if you think about a ream of papers about two inches thick right that's a big freaking 
binder of Russian intelligence. And about the time, uh, you know, that it came out that Trump had all these missing documents, we, we started having intelligence people overseas that were dying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No collusion. Nope. Mm -hmm. And out of all the shit, out of all the shit that he stole, why was it so important to steal the stuff that showed how Russia really did collude to install him as president? The 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 social media campaigns, the misinformation, the the everything that they did to help him. So what's the question, Jenny? I I want to know. Will anyone be brought up for espionage? Uh, because we did have informants and people that died because of secrets getting out. I want to know somewhere down the road, is somebody going to be brought up on espionage over these stolen documents and especially the Senate binder all on Russia? Hey, you guys, um, I got to take the baby out. So if I'm not back, just go on ahead without me. Cause okay. she's, yeah, she's I got like, several questions on this. Will anyone ever be brought up on espionage? Yes, if you can wait. There is um, Seven of Pentacles, King of Swords. Seven of Pentacles is waiting for the harvest. This is things need time to grow. Then the King of Swords would be Donald Trump or an air sign man. I'll just say that. Um, but yes, it ends in the Ace of Pentacles, which is your opportunity and something that may be handed out. So... Um, yes, but it'll take a little time. Yeah, I, I get the same thing. I get because there are partners of, of ours that have died overseas. Um, and, you know, I've, I've got the card of dissatisfaction on the bottom here um, that there's going to come like a slew is what I'm getting of uh, indictments over this. Um, all the details coming out. Um, but it's we have to wait for the court cases um yeah treason lies bad news manipulations there are indictments coming so will they raid mark meadows home because according to cassidy hutchinson that's the last person seen with the 10 inch binder. I'll show you Ray Devana's home. See if you can see. <laughs> That's the next question. Will they read Mark Meadows? Everybody on Twitter, as soon as you know anything about missing documents comes up, they're like, check her casket. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. I do not get an answer to for, Mark, for Mark Meadows home and his trailer down in North Carolina. <laughs>
We don't get an answer to that. This goes way off into something else. Mm -hmm. I get the feeling we're not asking the right question. Because I get... Yeah, Jack Smith shows up for me as the bully. I get Jack Smith has already made the connection. What was the question, you guys? Uh, I missed it. Here's here's the spy card, right? I, I was asking, will they uh, will they uh, raid Mark Meadows' home? Will they get a search warrant? We're not getting an answer to that. Okay, let me it's ask. Bringing up something else. Because it, yeah, it has to do with Russia, like they are, they've already made the connection to Russia, and and what happened overseas. What's the question? I get a searching, but it's something that's not his house. This the moon is mystery, so they're looking through something that may be encrypted or something that may be disguised as something else or that's used for something different, like not his house, but something else. Um, but there is a search. He's, he's hidden it somewhere else. Um, I asked, um, will the FBI raid Mark Meadows' house? An abundance of visitors gets blocked. So maybe they need like very specific, the only reason that they, that they searched Mar-a-Lago was because they had first count witnesses that said hey he's got all this stuff over here they're moving it around yada, yada. so they they knew but this is saying and the visitors that are in abundance are blocked somehow so i get to is an expensive property there's either an expensive property or an expensive box like a safe deposit box or something like, like a that. coffin like a coffin <laughs> 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 too there's a there's a very expensive property or expensive box, but that's the thing they need to look at and not his house. Let's let's ask this: Does Jack Smith know where the missing binder is? Does he already know? Because he's got you know phone records and everything else on Trump and everybody. Does he know where the missing box is? Yeah, Jack Smith's like the male Wednesday Adams. He's he's like expressionless. <laughs> Poker face. Poker I guess face they know that face. it was stolen, but they're not certain where it is. There's the thieving, missing, taken away. The office, whether it's DOJ, the Pentagon, whoever, uh, uh, our national security agencies, they're not sure where it is. It's uncertain. It's not clear where it's at. I guess magician, or at the very least, he will have the power to uncover such a thing. And why Six of Swords, Six of Pentacles? Because someone will give up this information or this information will be received from possibly overseas or something of that nature. But yes, he will eventually. He'll have I to think, use his I water. Think a, I think there's a woman that may give something up. It's like it's chaotic, like there's a game going on right now. Um, so I, I get like, he knows it's lost, but where it's at, I get a no, but he will soon. The details are coming out um celebration on that he's he's it's, that's getting ready to change so once he knows where it is then something's going to grow from this so can we ask will he get the binder back or has it been destroyed will he get the binder back
these people, man, I'm telling you, it's like the the three stooges committing felonies left and right. Like <laughs> they're not even smart, dude. It's like, how did you not think people would find out all the shit you stole and the stuff that's missing? Uh, I'm gonna go with no. I don't think so. That doesn't mean that he won't get information, but to get the physical thing, I don't think so. I get that they'll get papers, but not the book. So here's the paper, the letter. Like they've broken it up. And then they get that. That is secured and achieved and, and, and brought back. But it's not, and it, it's almost like it's not in its entirety. It's papers within it. So if I had gotten the book, then yeah, because it's a huge ass binder. This is paper. So yeah, but, yeah that explains a lot because I'm getting separation and then reuniting, right? Um, there's unfinished work, like it's not complete. I, I get a yes. Um, and it may, it may be in like three different places. You know, there's erratic energy around, like it may be in three different places. Um, but I get a yes, but it, I, I think you're right, Becca. It's in, it's in pieces. It's like it's paper, certain papers, not, it's not the book. It's parts of it. Like, you know, I mean, God, damn, this is a guy that wouldn't even listen to intelligence briefings stole a whole book over 2,000 pages long, like he's going to sit there and read that before he goes to bed. You know, like, come ten on. 10 inches. I could, I could stack 10 inches worth of, worth of books here. Like, like, just this. Just all this. That's only three inches. So multiply that times three. You know, 10 inches of documents. And, 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 and here's the That's thing. A lot. Even even if Cassidy Hutchinson said Mark Meadows was the one that took it, um, it it's not like Trump reads. He doesn't read. <laughs> like, what is the point, <laughs> you know? And in reading intelligence briefings, that's like reading the dictionary, dude. Like, dry, dry, you know? He's got the attention span of a gnat. What the hell was he doing with it, you know? But... Do you have any more on that? Because I got a couple questions, Jenny. Uh, no, I think that's it. Other than if you want to see if it's the binders in the casket. <laughs> yeah, the shits and giggles is the binder in the in the casket. Is the binder in the casket? Roxy, how'd your face end up so dirty? I have learned something about Braxy when she eats. You better hope she doesn't come near you because everything gets stuck in the jowls. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> She's like Johnny with his Kit Kats. She's got yeah. stuff up there for later. <laughs> yeah, for later. I am making fun of you, baby. Don't look so sad. <laughs> <laughs> He's like a chipmunk. I'm going to stash some things for later. <laughs> Are you like a little chipmunk? So is the binder in the casket, Braxy? What do you think? You want to help me? <laughs> I get a no. Uh-uh. It's with the friend. Whoever that might be to them is a business arrangement, too. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, it doesn't surprise me, but mm -mm. yeah, I get I get a no on the bottom. Trump is separated from it, so he I don't think he's got it. Um, but like Johnny said, it's with a Republican, and I keep getting a woman, maybe like a what what's her face? Uh, the the lady um, the from New York in the Republican, Lee Stefanik or somebody yeah. like that. I mean, I don't know. It's it's like they're gonna work it out. They're gonna they're gonna look into it and they're gonna 
they're gonna get it, but it's... I really think parts of it were, were given to Russia. My yeah. thing. If I wrote, I had a while back, because I couldn't remember it. I got 40,000 streaming services and all these other, the, I have three YouTube accounts and like everything's got a different password. And then I got uh, four different Google emails. And so I wrote all those down, the passwords to all. I didn't write the whole password. I would write like if my password was one, two, three, four, five, I'd write one, two, three, and then X, X, X. So that way it jogs my memory, right? And I had that until I had the idea to take a picture and then get rid of the paper. Why do you leave so much evidence lying around? Like you, you could, if you hacked my Netflix account, okay, fine. That's not the end of the world. A binder full of Russian intelligence, though, just hanging out in the bathroom, sitting on the stall. Like, like, I, how? Why do you have this at all? If you're trying to steal it, then take it, copy it on something, send it to somebody, and get rid of this other part. Like, and, like I, I said, three, the Three Stooges of Climbing, dude. I mean, these dumbasses couldn't rob a bank with directions and everything else. Like, I, they're, they're that stupid. So, um, so I guess I, we got a lot of questions on the community page, too, because Jack Smith checkmated Donald Trump, bypassed the Court of Appeals, went straight to the Supreme Court and said, you need to look at this. And now the Court of Appeals is going, OK, yeah, we're going to look at it, too. So it's going to be back to back. The because, Supreme Court and the Court of Appeals. Yeah, because the Supreme Court, you know, is going to have the ultimate say, which is Trump's MO anyways. Appeal it and then take it all the way up just to try to buy time. So he checkmated him, basically. Um, <laughs> then Chuck Kent stayed her stay, I guess, because of the legality while it's in review for appeal. His gag order still stays, but... As of right and now, the date stays for for now. The right date now. is staying. So my first question is, since it was on the community page quite a bit, will Judge Chutkin's case still go in March? If I'm interpreting his Donald Trump's grand tableau, which is good until March of next year, that very bottom line, it's the um, Tower on the House of Woman, and then it's followed by the Celestials. It looks like there's no delay in the courts. That there's one that goes. It moves. Um, so, but just for shits and giggles, um, will Chutkin's case still case start still happen in March of twenty twenty four? Queen of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. Work is secure for that woman there. <laughs> oh. If you never ran for president, if you never ran for attention, you weren't running for president. I get a yes too. I have Judge Chutkin on the bottom here. Like any any efforts to to move it and change the date you know that's nostalgia that's in the past it's like yes it's going on time um and i'm getting it's like a rather uh quick trial like wham but yeah they get to work in in march i get the book the coffin or the book the writer and the child knowledge is being delivered this still starts it's starting it's in the beginning at the very early stages. So yes, it starts in March. Beginning of spring. Mm -hmm. Starts in March. So another question that was uh, in the community page, will Trump <clears throat> be convicted before the November elections? Will he be convicted of any of his 91 felonies? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go say hi to daddy. 
I took her to the to the lagoon today. She did really good. Mm -hmm. um, I get yes, something to do with the family though. So that's where his verdict comes from. Family or supporters with the ten of cups. Mm. This isn't the ten of pentacles, so it's not the family business. So there's something to do with family or supporters, big groups of people. So maybe a Gen Six thing. Or if it's not Jan 6, it could be the fake electors too. Anyway, it's a bunch of supporters. I get a yes. The the news that's coming in answers about his fraud and manipulations. So that's pick one. Uh, the, the earliest one is Jan 6. And after that, you have Georgia. Um, the Georgia which is in election, August. Which is in August, you know, but yeah, he'll be he'll be convicted going into the elections. It's uh it's his answer to try to weasel out of it, but he's convicted. Yeah, so. I have my Jack Smith card on the bottom, so I think it's one he's directly involved with. So I'm gonna go with the DC January 6th one. It has some something to do with the time Trump spent in office uh as a as president. So um I the judge is uh, moving forward and all the work on it. So I, I think it's this DC case um, will rest and um, I get, I get celebrations. He's, he's going to lose that case. So here's my next question. Convicted by the elections. And we all know Trump can win a primary. He cannot win a general. It's been proven over and over and over and over again you can't win a general so is how do i say this he's convicted okay but then you still have to go back to trial to get the date of when you're going to go to the big house will he be a free citizen before inauguration I guess that would be the best way to word it, right? If he's going to be locked up, incarcerated. He'd be free at last. He'd be free. <laughs> He'd be out of jail still in January 26th, 2025. Um, sure. But... Ooh, yeah. not... Maybe sequestered somewhere, but not. I don't see. I don't get jail. There's a four of pentacles. This is. He may be holding himself to himself, like in a dark room or a basement or something somewhere dark and alone because of that person there. The King of Cups has defeated him again and him sad. Him not just saying him big saying so there's that so. but no jail. He's secured somewhere. I'm getting. He might have access to like some of his family or something, but um, you know he's he's secured somewhere. He's out in the cold and he's secured somewhere alone because he's unbalanced. So again, I'm gonna say. He's in a straight jacket somewhere. <laughs> Again, he loses his secret service, his security, his bodyguards. And then it ends with the sun. So this is gone. This ends. The security. <laughs> His coffin, his coffin is in a hot place. That's what that means. And, and I asked, will he be in car for <laughs> the inauguration in 2025? He's that burning in hell by then, Becca. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Well, come on with it, please. How pissed off I would be if that were true. I want him to live a long life so he can... You don't get everything you want, though, man. <laughs> you know, I have to, 
I have to ask this now. Because we looked at this when we uh, when it, we first read on it, you know, two years ago on the golf course cemetery plots he was trying to get permission to do, which he never did get permission. Will he be buried next to Ivana in Bedminster? It seems they put him on one of the other ones. That way he can get the tax break there too. Well, he'll be dead. It's not like he needs the tax breaks. He, he oh, wanted to build a 19-foot mausoleum there at one time. He won't have the money for that. <laughs> uh, I get no. There's ten swords. Upon his death, two of wands... Ace of Pentacles. There's an opportunity for different things, different locations. So he has options. I get a no. I get the tower, the woman, and the crossroads. No, the decision comes down to a woman, a very ambitious woman. So Melania is probably going to throw his ashes on the side of the road there on the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Dump his body like weekend at Bernie's. With her magic jacket, I don't care, do you? <laughs> <laughs> going to dump his body on the side of the road. Oh, sweet Mary. Mm -hmm. It's it's funny because I get like by the time all the court cases are done, everybody's disgusted with them. Um it's like for protection, his tomb is gonna be put somewhere that the public won't have access to it. It has to be. Somebody's just gonna look to vandalize it day one, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Like they did well, his Hollywood you know, star. I'd go rent a dog just to have a dog pee on his grave. <laughs> <laughs> right, Ru Ru. Braxley will volunteer. <laughs> I took her out. She went pee just now. Okay. But, okay. okay. Rudy Giuliani. Rudy Giuliani. Brokas. What's the name? Loser. Rudy Tootie. Four Seasons Adult. Four Seasons Landscaping Adult Bookstore Crematorium Giuliani. They got to seize his assets. <laughs> you, you forgot to add in there the melting hair. Remember when his was when his died? Yeah, melting was melting Brokas. Wait, wait. Rated melting Brokas. <laughs> his name's getting too long. I can't remember it all now. <laughs> Rated melting broke ass. That SOB Giuliani. is pissing. I mean, who knows? Maybe he's so drunk he doesn't even realize it. But um, mom is saying family outing. Becca, let's go. Yes, mom, we'll take Braxy to Trump's grave and let her pee on it. Then I'll give her the biggest. You see his lawyer with the funky haircut. Jenny sent me a picture of the lawyer. Johnny, what the fuck? That's the penguin. <laughs> <laughs> the penguin from Batman, Danny DeVito. <laughs> he looks like a That's exactly what Rudy Giuliani looks like. <laughs> so, so look Jenny, at his lawyer. Jenny sent me a picture of that guy, and I was like, "What the hell did he?" What's happening him? there? What's going now? I said, I that's, told Jenny, I that's was like, Rudy and his lawyer. Is his hair running away from the back of his head? What's happening? No, Johnny, I asked Jenny if his lawyer passed out at a frat party, and that's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a hot mess. Mm -mm. Oh, bless his heart. He did that on purpose, though. No, I, I, I think he got drunk at a frat party. I mean, no, nobody would do that. I, I bet you're thinking cute. I look at it this way. Rudy's not paying his lawyers, right? He's got lawyers suing him for back payments. So I figured that was the only part of the two pay his lawyer well, could afford. I worked <laughs> with a woman. She would cut her child's hair um, intentionally. I guess that was the style. It was all bald hair, and there was hair right there. I, mind you, it wasn't as long as that, but it's a style, I suppose. Oh, God. Like, why would you leave the house looking like that? But I, I mean... Whatever. I mean, you know, there there were Chinese in ancient days that shaved their heads but the ponytail. Maxie, come here. Yeah. She tried to go up the stairs all by herself and fell. 
Oh no. <laughs> Praxi, are you okay? Are you okay? Has she ever been up there? No, we haven't let her up there because she um, gotta match her stairs. Yeah, she's got to <laughs> take herself potty first, which she goes out to make poops by herself. She just won't go out there to pee. So I'm not about to have her running around upstairs where there's carpet, you know, all over the place. But she just tried to go upstairs to follow Matt. And then saw, she fell. <laughs> but I want to know. I want to know. Um, we know that that Rudy's going to try to get out of it, which he can't because they, it's under... Um, what was it? Punitive damages. Kind of like what uh, yeah. can't file for bankruptcy. They're they're um they and if he tries to, then guess what? You just committed a felony trying to file for bankruptcy to not pay somebody. Um so they can go after his properties, they can probably probably go after his pension. Um, so Rudy's gonna end up broke as F in jail somewhere, you know. And here's, okay, quick, quick gripe. What pisses me off so bad about the media, Rudy, America's mayor, America's, that son of a bitch has been racist his whole damn life. The whole stop and frisk, that was Rudy Giuliani. Yeah. You know? So this whole going after uh, Ruby Freeman and Shea Moss doesn't surprise me at all. He's been a racist Are son of a bitch. His whole he, life. He helped get rid of the New York mafia, the Italian mafia in New York, but he made way for the Russian mafia. So, yeah. you know. Yeah. So I don't I don't understand this whole America's mayor thing. But I want to know, is Rudy going yeah, maybe, to say what? Maybe, maybe his lawyer was selling pieces of his hair to cover the legal expenses. <laughs> like Trump sold pieces of his suit <laughs> mm -mm. i want to know if um if ruby freeman and shea moss are going to get their money because they can go after a whole bunch of people now too well yeah hold on i take that back michael popak on midas touch he does the legal af podcast he was saying yes and no to that one, like they could go after other people like Trump and everything else. But that was on a separate video. I haven't watched it. So Michael Popak was saying yes and no. They could, is it, I'm not a lawyer, but I'm thinking, is it because they have recovered damages for the initial offense, but they can Probably. go after somebody for something different? Probably. Because I, I was seeing on Twitter, um, it's said, Defamation, they were awarded 16 million, emotional distress 20 million, and punitive damages 75. And so they got defamation and um, emotional distress. So maybe they can do a slander, and if it was written down, maybe they can do a libel. And, and, and during all of that, Rudy Giuliani went outside and held a press conference. I feel no remorse. I, what I said was, tr it's like you, you, got, you just got hit with $148 million. You have millions. I doubt you have $148 million. And all you were able to do Trump was $1 million because 10 yeah. people showed up. <laughs> E.G. Carroll went after Trump again, you know, when he kept defaming her. Rudy's doing the same thing to them. That they can keep going after him. He apparently has a podcast or something yes. on Twitter. Yeah. And yeah, he, he said know. God and his father are proud of him. And I'm thinking, for what? You just lost all your money because you... I, what are they proud of you for? Yeah. Yes, mom, I saw that, Peggy, that he has a pension. They can go after his pension in New York, too. You about to lose his, the hair His dryer. apartment's for sale for $6 million in New York. They can uh, put a lien on that. But, I mean, who's going to get the money? His ex-wife is cheating. Uh, his ex-wife is waiting on payment. His lawyers are waiting on payment. Then Ruby Freeman and Shea Moss are waiting on payment. Like, is it like the DMV he's, taking he's number? He's probably got debtors. You know, yeah. that are waiting on some payments too. So my question is, will they get their money? Will Rudy Freeman and Shea Moss get their money? Because I know Rudy has money, but I doubt he has 148 million. 
when he's he's got other charges like in Georgia where he could be serving time in jail. He, he won't need his money in jail. That's what I'm saying. He's got Georgia and he's got the Jack Smith situation too. Um, yeah, it'll take some working. But yeah, magician to a cup. So it'll take some sort of work and manipulation of something. But yes, I don't know if they're going to get that much, but they will at the very least get half. So maybe the punitive and nothing else. But they'll they'll get enough to where good for them and Rudy Seth. So there's <laughs> there's that. Yeah. They get an abundance of, of payments from him. It's not going to be, you know, the full amount, but they might see half. You know, that's a 50-50 card. Uh, they might see half, uh, but they're going to keep have, going after him in court to get it. But they've got strength on their side, so. I, I get a yes. It's going to take a little bit of time. It's going to take some time. It's not. Gonna, they're not going to get a check in the mail, like, tomorrow. But it takes time. But, yes, they will be successful. And so there's that. Did you hear what, what Ruby what Ruby Freeman said in court? The girl went to go get a job at Chick-fil-A. And the hiring manager that was interviewing her turned his laptop and showed her a picture of herself that said fraud. She couldn't even get a job at Chick-fil-A because of these sons of bitches. I mean, I wouldn't want to work at Chick-fil-A. Her life was threatened. They were in danger. Like they, they're going to need security for the rest of their lives. Yeah. Because these MAGA people will keep coming after them. Yep. Yeah. So, and I guess my last question. It's a petty one. Hold on. Let me see if I can find it here. I got a, a final petty one too. If if we can stay on. Okay. A little... We can. Oh, we already asked. Well, no, but we'll ask it. Hold on. Damn it. So I had a petty question and it says, I don't know the man's name, but Giuliani has an attorney who has the most amazing and a bad way haircut. What is up with that? So why does that attorney have that weird funk of hair? on? His I'm face? using the glamorous tarot that is full of <laughs> makeup and lipsticks and things. So <laughs> oh, how appropriate. What is with homeboys? Here? My shirt. Mm -mm -mm. Why? Why? <laughs> no. <laughs> what? <laughs> this might have been at a Fred party. Gosh darn it! Um, it's like some sort of. This is the first card. Is the Three of Cups. This is your parties. Your, it's a celebration. It's a reason for celebrating. A gathering of friends and like-minded people. There's the Two of Cups. This was an agreement to do this. I don't know if this is a dare. Or if you can make it to the top of the steps before I do, then blah, blah, blah type of thing. So it's it, it's because it was meant to sacrifice. It was it was done to him, but he's in on it. So it wasn't, you know, so could it be like, on purpose. So could it be like he lost a bet on a party or something? That's what I think. I don't get the wheel of fortune like the game of chance, but it's it's because there's an agreement to do this. Three of Pentacles, three of of cups and two of like like they agreed to do this <laughs> with an old old friend there was an yeah. agreement some kind of game going on like you can't tell who's winning or losing some kind of a game so yeah like a bet get the fish the garden and the scythe drinking at a party and someone took scissors <laughs> just why would you one more last question a petty question these burrow and pal you know as part of their uh plea deal down in georgia had to do the apology letters and they were just pathetic pathetic i mean it was like sorry i got caught you know kind of 
it's like there's no remorse to the, to the state no of Georgia. Remorse. So will uh, will they either have to rewrite their apology letters or will they have their um, plea deals rescinded or how how is Fanny Funny Willis going to react to these apology letters? They were horrible, weren't they? They were. Um, no, I think the Aerophant is satisfied. What happens? Three of Pentacles and Three of Cups is how this one starts. So they got what they wanted or what they asked for. I mean. If you were gonna make me write a specific thing, then give me an outline. Otherwise, I'm sorry. Jeez, bro. You know, that's I first of all, letter of apology. What is this ninth grade? Hold them to the fullest extent of the law and let it be the end. You don't need a plea deal. Good I job. get that. Okay, so I get the um the child, meaning it was short or small, the anchor. And then the letter. So they wrote a short, small letter. And then dog and lilies. Fanny Willis has no say. This is ultimately up to the judge. And it looks like it was accepted. So it doesn't matter what Fanny Willis wants. She can't rescind it. They can't take it back. It was in the order. They complied. Short, sweet, to the point. Which, short, sweet, to the point. But I as a person that these assholes try to disenfranchise along with, even though I'm in California, you know, but still if he, if they would have been successful overturning all these swing states, overturning all these swing states, um, he's disenfranchising. Um, he's disenfranchising. So to me, so, that apology is like a slap in the face. You know, it's like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're sorry. You know, but ultimately it's up to the judge and it is what it is. You know, that's yeah, what I, I get it shows you know, part of their corruption. So she'll use that image um, when she moves forward in court um, against you know, all these other people because uh, you know, you know, they may get asked if they want to change anything in their messaging, but she's she's going to actually use it as strength to show their lies and subterfuge and everything like these people can't accept they lost the election. She's gonna she's gonna use it as sort of an example. I, I, I'm just curious because Sydney Powell is living up there on freaking like the Mars space station. Like that woman has checked out. Like she's not even there in the head, you know. Like, does she have any freaking remorse for what she did, or is it oh fuck, I got caught? You know, it's like when, yeah. I, when I look at her, it's like it, she's just like Rudy, like no freaking remorse at all. Oops. At all. When she's gone on, um, you know, TV and stuff, talking to people afterwards or or podcasts, she shows no remorse, other than that she got caught. I wonder if that preacher that got arrested in Georgia that was harassing um, the the poll workers to lie about, you know, Shay uh, Shay Moss and and Ruby Freeman. He was the preacher that was harassing those two women to to say that they stole that they were messing with the election if he feels remorse as a man of god you should just as a decent human being you should you know but whatever we're done he doesn't know god though no he doesn't he doesn't and i say that as as a, a recovering catholic and a heathen. <laughs> okay. I say that as a person who does. And I know you should be humble, but I ain't going to be humble with it. I could teach you and I can show you where God lives and all that whole thing, Mr. Pastor. But you don't know God because God would never tell you to do what you just did to those people. Mm -mm. So that's all I got. We're well, done. Christmas Ooh. Eve will be live on Johnny's channel. Yes. Oh, God, that's right, because Christmas is on Monday this year. 
Mm-hmm. Yep, we'll be on Johnny's channel. Anybody needs a break from family and anybody traveling for the holidays, be safe. Mm-hmm. Be safe, be happy. Forget, don't forget about your little fur babies too. Make sure that they're safe out of the cold if you live somewhere where it's cold. Um that's all I got for tonight. I can't believe Christmas is next week. I just I can't believe it's like what the hell happened? This year go? It's like you blinked and it was gone, you know. Oh. All this whole, we'll be, I remember when I was younger, I can't wait till I'm 18. Da, 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 and everybody would tell me, be careful, because when you get older, time goes by faster. And here I am, 45, going, where the hell did the year go? <laughs> 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 so, mm -hmm. New Year's yeah. Eve in two weeks, we'll be uh, live on my channel doing the fundraiser, our biggest fundraiser of the year usually. So hopefully y'all can join us for that too. For sure. And it was nice. Thank you, everybody, for the super chats and everything. Um, Johnny's channel next week for Christmas Eve. Um, and we will see you all later. Bye-bye. Bye. Oh, and Braxy says bye, too, even though she's asleep down here. But whatever. <laughs> <laughs> bye. <laughs>